can do. Yeah. Right, this here is your, your television um, amplifier, so your signal amplifier. On off button is there. Okay, you need that switched on when you're on site. Um, all depends on where you are, how good a signal you're going to get. Um, obviously, if you're on the, could be in the depths of Wales, then you might struggle. But have, have a look, see what if everyone else has got aerials up, then they're likely others. Yeah. You can't you can get a signal. And you've got to have a 12 volt or 240 tally, or is it just? Yeah, yeah, you can have either. If, if you've got 240 and plug 240, and that down there is your, obviously, you have got a 12 volt outlet. But you can use it, you only, if you've got 240, you can plug a 240 TV in. Yeah. Exactly yeah. the same as what you've got at home. Yeah. Unless you've got these massive tellies that you can't yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the way you can't bring that with you. But yeah, anyway, any, any of these small ones. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfectly fine. Just take that right here. Just wanted to show oh, this is a posh one. Posh handbook. Posh handbook cover. Okay, so this is this is all the information you need to know. YouTube is a, a really useful um, yeah, outlet as yeah. well for information. There's so much. You know, see, yeah, you got your, your heating system, water heating system, connecting your service board, everything else. So everything like that's in there. And I just want to check on the uh, wheel nuts. I'm sure it's 115 on this, but I just want to double check. Obviously, it's on a different page in, in the L list compared to a Swift. Spare wheel, so it might be around the spare wheel bit. It gives you a lot of information. Ah, oh, here we go. Good, we need it. So, it is saying about. It's showing all different talks on different wheels there. Why is it not so? Obviously, the problem with some of these books are that they um, they could be a general one that does a few different vehicles. Yeah. But I would say this is 115 myself. Yeah. And obviously, someone's put 110 to one, 120. <laughs> 15 probably about right. But I, I will check them before you go anyway. Right. Okay, you have got other individual appliance books as well in there. Yeah. But that, that is your main one. That's giving you the most information. Yeah. Okay. Right. If you're going to be a member of the, any of the clubs, they tend to have information as well, and have checklists and all sorts of things, which are obviously very helpful before you go away, before you start towing. Obviously, you should be reasonably okay with how to connect up and towing and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of things like that. Your bed. See that there? That pulls out. Yeah. Goes all the way across. See these these catches here. Obviously, that gets pulled past that. Yeah. And then all you do, if you see, it's just got a bit of a knee roll, or what we call knee roll, on the cushion. If you tip it over so it's upside down with that bit against the wall, these backs they can just it's slot in the middle, yeah. Slot yeah. The middle there. Okay? Yeah. That's always fun in there when you start to go to the <laughs> trucking cushions about. Okay. Have yeah. That? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um just just looking up there. Right, you've got blinds. So that's your fly blinds. Yeah. And you can see that they are spring loaded. But the, the fly blinds will only fit in one one position. Well, you've got your ordinary blinds, which will fit into different slots. Yeah. Just be very careful, they come flying up and uh, knocking things off if you're not careful. Right. Um, also, don't leave blinds down, because it, it's a spring loaded. If you leave them down for, because some people leave them all over winter, two or three months. And they lose. And the, the, spring, the spring goes and yeah. you, you can't, it won't come back up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, your windows, I'll say reasonably straightforward. Yeah, I've got a, a tightening thing there, look. Right. All you do is, oh, what you got? Got a thingy vent, a uh, nighttime vent there if you want to. Yeah. We'll push it out and just tighten it off on them. Yeah. Just remembering to uh, loosen them off before you try and drag them back in again. Alright. And just make sure everything's secure before you travel. Mm. Your roof light, on this one, you can just pull, pull the bar down. That's that's the locking catch there, so press the button in, releases it, press the button in, releases it, push it up, and click the handle back in. Just be careful, it gets a bit windy. Take them off, yeah. yeah. Oh, do like that. Oh, right. What I'm trying to avoid to trying to do that. Just when it gets to a certain point, it will drop down with a bit of a bang. So just keep it under control. And you can also put different vent that position. So you've got a couple of locking catches there. Look, mm -hmm. if it's raining, it can obviously still got a bit of a vent there. Or you've got nighttime vent as well. Just push it up slightly. See that there? It's got yeah. 
kind of two levels. And that just opens it just that little bit just to breathe at night time. And just, mm -hmm. just make sure it is clicked shut for, uh, for yeah. travelling. Lines, obviously that is the main one. Don't forget, obviously in the, in the summer, obviously it stays late, uh, like quite late, and then obviously when it goes dark, you forget about that. You wake up at four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> sun's blaring through there. <laughs> so just remember to shut them before you go, go to sleep. Okay, happy with that? Yeah, that's yeah. fine, yeah. Right, so obviously when you come to, obviously uh, ready for going home, best thing to do, if you want to drain the boiler, don't drain it straight away, switch, switch the power off. So when you wake up in the morning, probably best, because normally you tend to be off site before midday, depending on where you are, so it could be half 10. But flick your water heating off, give it, a, say, a half an hour or so to cool down before you drain it. Don't drain it on the pitch. What I tend to do is get, get to the gateway of the, um, to the side. Wife jumps in, opens that, opens the taps, and it'll help drain the water. As you're traveling, that bit of movement helps it drain we'll just down. just get rid of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Got it. But it's obviously very important for winter, you do drain down. If you don't drain down in the winter, you're gonna be in trouble because water in the uh, caravan and pipes mm -hmm. are not good. Okay. Yep. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Any questions you can think of? No, no. no I've filled so. your head full of <laughs> so much information. No, it's all on here now. <laughs> yes, so well, that's that it, is yeah. the good thing, yeah. Yeah, well yeah. that's it, yes. Especially being new to it, is, that's why we offer this, because it's, yeah, yeah, it's good. something you can look back on and either laugh or, <laughs> <laughs> or say, oh yeah, I, I can't remember, what did you say about that? Mm. Obviously, again, you, YouTube is a, is a good source as well. We've been looking when you sold this before, you've had this in before and right. sold it and somebody yeah. came par text again. Yeah. So we were looking at it on there all the yeah. time, you know well, what yeah, I mean? It's, it's useful, yeah, it's again, useful for videos like that, or how to use videos. There's a lot of how to use videos you go on there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very useful. Okay, right, what we'll do now, you want to bring your car? Yeah. 